there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in a mod I have yet to play as called the Age of Imperialism. But we must begin as Germany of course and read about our great nation. The reign of Emperor Wilhelm II was marked by the amazing progress Germany made on the international stage. The victory in the war with France and skillful conduct of the Scandinavian policy significantly increased Germany's sphere of influence in Europe. The seizure of a significant part of the French overseas territory and expansion of the fleet thanks to the French war reparations allowed the Great Britain and its royal fleet to be challenged. The active loan policy significantly strengthened Germany's influence in Austria and the adoption of the Middle Europa ass assumptions led to the creation of the Reich's Pact. Unfortunately, not everything was so smooth and Kaiser Wilhelm II's government also had mishaps, such as the Middle Europa's failed operation in the Russian Empire, which was aimed at instigating a series of national liberation uprisings that would allow Germany to shift its sphere of influence to the east. As a result of the failure of this operation, Russian and German relations also reached a new bottom. And we love bottoms here. Also, the glory in the war with France also brought not only positive but also negative effects. The main one is a diminished interest in the army on the part of Kaiser Wilhelm II due to its man his mania for the fleet as well as a recognition of the army will play a secondary role in the common conflict with the Great Britain. Due to this belittling of the army's needs, many officers began to question the current system of governance and Germany switched to opposition against Wilhelm II. <clears throat> Another serious problem was the issue of paramilitary groups in Germany, which as a result of the lack of interest on the part of the Kaiser and insufficient legal regulations have gained significant influence. The violence related to them became known as the militia's anarchy. These three issues seem to be the main problems facing Germany today. And unfortunately, they are not the only issues Germany will be have, to, have to deal with in order to maintain its current position. The coming years will undoubtedly not be easy for Germany, but if Deutschland succeeds and overcomes adversities, the time of the notorious Pax Germanica may come. Gott mit uns. And now, what is Age of Imperialism? So when, I don't really know the mod extremely well at the time of this recording, but basically, what if World War I never happened, and we still have a lot of our basically somewhat-ish central powers uh, influence stuff, so we have the Soyuzniki, Soyuzniki, we have the Commonwealth of Nations, wow, the Commonwealth looking, how, how do they get Tibet in there? As you tell, that's a Commonwealth, Commonwealth in the Middle East, um, and Africa, we actually have a large influence in Africa, how does Russia own Ethiopia, okay then, German Empire, so we still have our colonies here, which is awesome, 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 which we're going to lose, and not for, remember to use it all, whenever war breaks out, the right specs over here, um, oh, the Netherlands are with us? No, no, wait, who's this then? Is this us? Oh, Dutch Guiana. Oh, we have the League of Nations. So the Commonwealth of Nations and then the League of Nations. Who's leading? Ah, Herbert Hoover, our friend of the free market. We have some dude. We have the United Kingdom, led by George V. We have the French Republic, and also our starting position is not that bad. Grand humiliation. Good. So, total losers losers of the total war. Well, they well, World War One, I, I think, didn't happen technically from what I read from the mod page, but Balkan Fed that's a thick Balkan Federation. Jesus Christ, that's a skinny Romania, and then Italy is looking... Victor Emmanuel III is... He's a dude. Um, yeah. And we have a lot of ships that are in repair and stuff like that. But we'll begin soon. But we'll do a long-awaited army reform. Not this one. Wait, is that... Oh, you look kind of familiar. Anyways. <coughs> the reform of the German army is not, has been a long-awaited thing by the whole of it, including even most persistent Kaiser Wilhelm II loyalists. However, before we even start it for good, we must decide whose doctrine to choose, because now we have two different ones to choose with... Or choose from with two different camps supporting one or another. So let's go over here because we're doing currently some a lot of research stuff. We have our name or land auction, but it's a little different this time. Actually, mass assault doesn't look too bad, especially since you can get like better supply consumption, recovery rate, uh, infantry recovery rate, which is pretty normal. But you also get more uh, organization for infantry and breakthrough and more organization and less supply consumption and less uh, combat width, which is still not great, but not bad. Actually, a little more warfare. Dude, Tactics, uh, uh, it's not bad. Kampfgruppe, I mean, we could go with mobile warfare. It's not bad. Actually, is this mutually exclusive? No, it's not. Huh. Of course, we do have this stuff as well, but let's see. Because right now we have to make a choice. Do we do in the footsteps of Feldmarschall Schlieffen? And we get more speed, basically mobile warfare side of this stuff. And Rupert von Bayern, Ash Ludendorff, or Tazer Feldmarschall, we'll get von Manstein and Guderian. Or we go hearing the recommendations of Rupert, or Rupert von Bayern, which basically is mobile warfare, or not mobile warfare, superior firepower and grand battle plan. I, I love, love, love artillery so much. That's really good. More breakthrough and attack, and better uh, production rate, or production costs. And the Prussian War School, you get hit on both sides, basically, with that same army in the spotlight. Uh, mobile warfare, motorized. For this one, though, you get more breakthrough, organization, armor speed, armor research speed. Uh, uh, making this decision here is going to be difficult, but we are Germany. 
Actually, take a look here first. So they basically have like no tanks. We got some cavalry divisions here. And I know I know I'm taking a while to like talk about this stuff, but I, I do want to show you whatever we do have to work with. We really don't have a lot of tanks, and the navy is a big thing here. We don't have a lot of factories. We got some light tanks, <sighs> guns, artillery would be nice. Well, what we're probably gonna do is work on a lot of planes. That's the most important thing. Ah, screw. We'll go within the footsteps of Field Marshal uh, Schieffen. A large group of our army officers, such as Gerhard von Lundstedt, Alan Rommel, and Heinz Guderian, seem to be supporters of the renewal of the concept of shunting war introduced by the late Field Marshal Alfred von Schlieffen. Ah, screw. We'll go that way. Oh, look at the city lights. Smoke like an emperor. Oh, this is nice. I like this one penny. A penny. Penny. Charlie Chaplin. Air Corps, your thirst takes wings. Huh. Cool. Uh, research speed would probably be good to do. Mobile warfare would be good. To... It's only 28 day focuses. Ooh. Uh, increase the role of armored units. Tanks are a fantastic invention that will soon change the battlefields forever. Therefore, focusing on creating tactics especially prepared for armored weapons should be our absolute priority. World exhibition begins. Ooh, very cool. An event to remember. Haas base earthquake. Ooh, a frightening experience. That's not good. In New Zealand. No, that's not good. Oh well, not us. So yeah, as it, as you as we read earlier about Kaiser Velen second, like he loves the navy, which I love navy stuff. Like I don't know why, but I do love the navy and Hoi Four Cell. So. Ooh, Lone Wolf. Lotar. And then we're first contact. Max, you kind of suck. I'm not gonna lie. A uh, minesweeper, super tactician. Boim is not bad. Um. Mine layer cuts corners. That's not good. I like this guy. Yeah, this seems okay. Deep oceans, inshore fighter. We're definitely gonna need that. <sighs> There's so many penalties. I don't like old guards though. I want to use this, but caustic personality. He's so, so strong in attack though. Well, avoidance is pretty good positioning. Yeah, Bohem, you're gonna do it. Dracula Premier is fascinating. Also, it's 1931. If you know, it's 1931 already. So. And we've done it, so you're doing a pretty okayish job, probably, too. Um, oh, you're a torpedo expert. You don't have either one of these. Uh, go with the reveal chance. Oh, 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 yeah. And just shoot out so many torpedoes as fast as you possibly can. I have a couple planes here. Not as many as I obviously would like, but that's okay. Corruption scandal, France. Oh, no. New year, new French government. Same problems. Yes. And then cooperation of all types of land forces. In modern battlefields, cooperation of different types of troops is necessary to succeed. American National Anthem. Star Spangled Banner was made the National Anthem by con Congressional Resolution, which was then signed by the President of the U.S. Nice. Early 20th Century Artillery. So let's make sure that when we do this stuff... Okay, so we have 33 tanks. That's not bad. Oh, we can go to mediums immediately? Oh, that's kind of nice. I kind of like that. 33, 35. This is 32. It's only 31, though, right now. So we're a little bit behind, which is fine. We need to catch up on some stuff. So the focus tree isn't exactly like normal, which is fine with us, because I do like a slight change in focus trees, but... Camouflage engines and stuff like that. More defense, breakthrough and HP. Vehicle stuff, breakthrough and defense. Like, all this stuff is going to be really good to get. Less fuel usage would be really nice. Motorized. Um, I feel like that stuff can wait a little bit. Get some more extraction right now. And start working on our land auction, probably. Mobile warfare. Yeah. Division speed goes up by 10%. Organization loss of movement goes down. Way more planning speed. And... Oh, French Prime Minister assassinated. Very cool. I'll go buy foreign equipment. Oh, that's not bad. I can buy some French tanks. Um, really? I mean, we will need some tanks and stuff. Recruitment campaign. Okay, mobilization speed. Daily army XP gain is pretty darn nice. Wow, weekly war sport gain goes up too. That's pretty good too. Even though we do lose some uh, consumer goods, which is not ideal, but whatever. Uh, the priority of army motorization. Modernizing and enlarging our motorized force will allow for improved maneuverability among our armed forces, as well as a more secure logistic system that ensures our soldiers to get what they need. Nicaragua earthquake? Oh, how unfortunate for them. Oh, oh, we have some guys here, huh? I see Heinrich! Oh, Heinrich! So right now we have the reactionary party, Deutsche Conservative Party, led by Wilhelm II, Deutsche National Volkspartei, Zentrum, of course, Liberals, SPD with Socialists and KPD with Commies. I'm not sure how this is going to affect us too much. I would like to get some more consumer goods, though. As much as I love Heinrich Himmler, which sometimes you don't want to say, but anyways. Um, I'm going to Von Rommel just because he gets better consumer goods. But, is there anyone else here? Ooh, better consumer goods. A factory output. Resources the market goes down a little bit, but, oh, that's so good. That's not bad either. Political power gain is not bad. Well-known artist, Socialist, Ollenhauer. Hugo Ebel, and you get more political power, too. I like that a lot. 
You only get 0.66 anyways. Um, just taking a look, who do we have here? Ruthless, capitalist, and liberal. Hmm. I just want more peepee. Kara, Helfrek was not bad either. Uh, uh, Suffragette, do we like Suffragettes here? Daily Command Bar Games, it, kind of a unique one. You usually don't get that in a lot in uh, a lot of mods. That's actually kind of cool. A Minister of War. Um, oh, oh, Goring is here. He's a fat man. It's not a bad to get either. And Head of Information and Propaganda. Ooh, more political power, less consumer goods, so we can actually get some more stuff done. 5% more construction speed is not bad. Uh, Rosalia Luxembourg. Huh, not bad either. <gasps> Goebbels! Ooh, I, I want to go with Goebbels. But, ooh, Daily Compliance Gain does slightly go up, which is not bad. And Resistance Growth Speed goes down too. Uh, but for that now, we're just going to go to this guy because we get more attention growth, which is okay. We get better consumer goods and more political power every single day. Nice. Because we need to build, build, build. We're only building Sylvies for now, but... Also, can we send... When did you own Galicia? 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 Oh, I can't send volunteers. Ah! The new president of France, of France Paul Dolmer. All right. Our minister humiliates us in reactionism. One of our ministers, completely known as an admirer of our values, re related to reactionism, has traditionally suffered image defeat, which not only showed our government in a bad light, but also alienated many people from ideology. Oh, whoops. Was it well, I guess you're a liberal. My bad. Conservative. Or liberal. Well, I guess the next time we got to choose another reactionary. God dang it. Um, conservatism. Yeah. I gotta go with something like that next time. My bad. I just wanted to get more good some more good some political power and stuff like that. My bad. Hmm. Hmm. Eh, yeah, still not bad. Empire State Building, magnificent. Maybe I should have gone with you instead, maybe. No one gives us more political power when you go that way though. I want more PP. Oh. Very nice. Oh yeah, you three cannot go there because he's he's very limited on how many divisions this guy can have, so. Because he has what? Swamp box? Spanish Republic has a proposal. I don't know why, but yeah, he can't he can only have so many, so. Interesting news comes from us today and from Spain, in which the incompetent governments of King Alfonso the thirteenth have been overthrown <clears throat> by the army group coup. However, due to the internal divisions within the army, the situation in Spain turned into a civil war. This disturbing state of affairs seems to create a unique opportunity to take Spain away from the greedy hands of the British and the Commonwealth sphere of control, as well as weaken Italian positions in the Mediterranean. Possibly for achieving the appear that appeared rather soon a delegation of the Republican government was already presented in Berlin. Present in Berlin in Berlin, and now is asking us for help in combating royals in exchange for the promise of Spain during the right back in the future. Iberia will be in our sphere. I'm okay with that, man. Let me come on in. Um, ooh, Spanish Republic, Kingdom of Spain. Wait, why do they like us so much? National disaster, Spanish Civil War, ill prepared coup. Well, we're both reactionaries, right? So, was it the Spanish Republic or Kingdom of Spain? I don't remember. I'm probably going to make a bad choice here. <clears throat> but we don't like these guys that much. But they're reactionaries. And that's what we like, so I still not that's the way we want to go, six divisions. Uh take all but you. This one's really gonna attack. Oh yeah. Bombach. Kingdom of Spain. And if I do this wrong, well then oh well. Um I will go ahead and do the other side if we need to. So my bad. Huh. Let's get some fighters for now. Get in the Austrian Parliament. Okay. Betray. Due to the part nasty play of the Austrian government, our country was faced with a big problem. Due to the fleet expansion program and projects related to Middle Europa, our budget does not provide for any surplus. <clears throat> and the case has gone wrong not only because of Austria's refusal to pay repay loans, but mainly because many German enterprises and investments in Austria have collapsed. Many of the failing companies do not operate only in Austria, and thus, with the collapse, crisis is spread spreading in our country. We must act quickly now. The French must pay us now. Oh boy. Confusion in the free city of Trieste. Oh, hello. So a lot of stuff is done. I really hope I sent to the right group. My apologies if I didn't. Oh no. Oh no. Mm, it's a little ahead of time too. 22? Uh, maybe air doctrine? Yeah, I mean that's, you can always do air doctrine, right? Oh, right, right. 32, this stuff is all ahead of time. Armored car. Okay, okay, we just get it okay then? I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I guess Raider Patrol, then do some of that stuff too, because he can. 
German response. Everything's now in the hands of the French. <clears throat> Which sounds like a really bad idea, but whatever. Anything out here yet? Not quite. So, I guess we'll keep going down with uh, Blitzkrieg, right? The town of Frederick is greater, long gone, yet the German army is still using the same strategies in constant warfare. Time to change it. Because right now, they're the national spirits. Neglected army, which is god awful. We have malicious anarchy, which is bad. The heart of military Europe, which is not too bad. Pretty good. Oh, Wurgebiet. Pretty good. And Kaiserlusche Marine, I do enjoy, but still. And then we have Legacy of Marshal Schlieffen. And of course, now we have Achtung Panzer. And support for Republicans in Spain. Republicans. God dang it, I sent her the wrong group. The Republic of Spain is a state of open civil war, and the existence of forces in this country that could help us in impeding conflicts are at a risk. We have to help them, and the shortage of allies is the last thing we need right now. So, for Republicans in Spain. So, not the kingdom, but the Spanish Republic. So, I'll see you in just a little bit. Alright, everyone. So, this time I made sure we traded with the, uh, or got sent volunteers to the correct government of uh, <clears throat> Spain. So, let's go ahead and do this. Stop training these guys for now just because, uh, well, we don't have any fuel. But Black Friday, which is pretty bad. The gay king of Italy, okay. And then anarchy overwhelmed the streets. Currently called Panic of 1931, the crisis seems to be engulfing Germany more and more. The unpleasant effects of Brink can be easily seen by watching crowds of striking workers on the streets and streeting about the increasing brutal clashes of various militias. The number of people dissatisfied with the current power in Germany also seems to be growing. We must take swift action if we want to stabilize the situation before it gets out of control. Oh boy, that looks really bad. Holy crap. Get some more uh, daily army XP game, but oh my goodness. Oh god, this, this is really bad. We are doomed. Or darned. The events of the last two weeks have completely changed the situation of our country, and for worse, much, much worse. The economic crisis will soon come to our country for good and without the financial in injection we need expected. We have no possibility to stop it. It's indeed a sad day in German history. Ka the Kaiser will be furious. Crap. <clears throat> but, hey, at least we're here, though. The crisis takes its toll in Germany. First Austria, then France, now Germany. What's next? Probably Russia, which... One more French... Oh. You collapsed, huh? And then we have, yeah, Nicholas II. The Curse of the Job. I thought it was a curse of the jab, but you know, let's not talk about the jab here. If I say that, will I get a COVID restriction on this video? I don't know. But I do want to save these guys if possible, so let's go in here. Al Capone convicted. Rumors of dissatisfaction in the army. For the last few days, disturbing reports have been coming to us regarding our army officers allegedly planning a coup d'etat to bring a new order in the country. Many people expect pe uh, placed at the head of the army earlier this year as part of army reform anti-government sympathies. We need the Kaiser to go back as soon as possible. Save the division. The end of the free city of Trieste. Oh, hello. Oh, annexed by Italy. And the house. Oh, monarchy. Oh boy. <clears throat> this changes military coup. This morning, to the surprise of many residents in the country, the army has declared obedience to Kaiser Velen II and announced its support for the newly elected, in the absence of the Kaiser, uh, uh, German Chancellor Konrad Adenauer. Due to the absence of Velen II in Germany in connection with his holiday trip, no one currently has legal opportunity to oppose the new order in Germany. Uh, uh, what? Seems kind of funky here, not gonna lie. Royal Navy's gone bankrupt. This is bad for everybody, it seems like. One Wilhelm descends from the throne. Kaiser Wilhelm II's yacht nailed to the port of the Hamburg this morning, immediately after morning. A Union of the Imperial Guard under the command of Hans Guderian burst aboard, was ordered to send the Kaiser an ultimatum from the newly elected German government under which he would step down from the throne in favor of his eldest son Wilhelm. Kaiser Wilhelm II was upset, but he agreed to sign his abdication in favor of his disliked son. Preparations for the coronation ceremony of the new emperor was already underway. Now, though haste makes it uh, difficult to maintain the appearance of legality, there's no clear opposition on the streets. The other Wilhelm sends the throne. What? The time has come for a change. But what if I like the second? Oh, well, you might as well hold on for now. Guys, Vellum the second. Uh, it's, uh, why? Oh, Vellum the third. Why? So now we can't do anything there. We can't do anything down here or over here. We can do this stuff up here. Oh, is really unsinkable. Vellum the second stayed happily in his vacation in Norway. Smiley face. God, I wish we could do that, but whatever. Saving dust from magnets. Well, I guess we're forced to go down this way. The time has come for change. The users are not necessarily responsible rule of Wilhelm II came to an end. Now with Chancellor Adenauer at the head and Wilhelm III following him. We may have a chance for better tomorrow. Alright, well, we'll see what happens. No guarantees. So if we're going to actually do anything here, uh, let's come down here. Because these guys are actually really, 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 really good on an attack. Catan sees his power. Um, civilian oversight. Go local autonomy. That should be good enough for now. Do we really not have enough guns? How do we not have enough guns? 
Nice. And we're here. Ah. Well, if that's the case, we could do the whole boom, 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 boom. Go through here, go through here, and get over across the river as fast as possible. At least defend the river. Ah, uh, it's falling ill, huh? That sucks. Sucks, bro. Sucks to hear about that. Or just take Seville for them. Even though we do seem to be doing quite well over here. Foundation for a new global order? Oh. We'll see. They are definitely attacking us. Quite a bit. Time's come for change. Um, are these mutually exclusive? Uh, economic renewal process. Probably want to do that one. Militia, uh, uh, anarchy must end. Zeit für eine neue Verfassung. New order. Daily political power cost. Ooh, oh god. Oh god, let's go this one. A new approach to the economy. At present, no one doubts that the previous approach to economic affairs promoted by governments under Wilhelm the Emperor II not only did not prevent, but even contributed to the outbreak of the economic crisis. Economic reforms are therefore the responsibility of the Adenauer government. Because with the militia anarchy, it's pretty bad right now. Uh, yeah, that's god awful. Dissolution of paramilitary groups. The universal right to bear arms. Oh, I like that a lot. Sharp reduction in taxes. Process of liberalization. Ooh, political power. I like this. German mark and banking reform. I, let's go with that one. Because <clears throat> there's a political power right now, but it gets more. Introduced Deutsche Mark. In order to improve the situation, new operating principles of a bank should be introduced, including the central bank's autonomy should be significantly reduced. The introduction of the currency in the new system will there then be only a formality. All I want... Oh, the Italians are here too. Go figure. Tragedy in Russia. Oh, the throne Tsarevich, Alexei's died. Oh no, the only son. Who? Oh, Tsar Nicholas. Oh, Alexei, no. We are definitely getting a lot more army XP than I expected. But these panzer divisions are, they're all right. They're not great, but they're all right. Make them 20 combo with. We'll switch them up later on maybe when, we, when we invade Poland. Because we always, we always invade Poland, right? That's a just tried and true thing for us to do, right? Make sure the horses got some support as well. Uh, we're gonna actually duplicate you guys, and make you guys like normals. G horses, which stand for garrisons. So you guys will be fine. I want to convert you guys to this one. And with these normals, throw on some more support artillery. Throw on the engineers. I know that we don't have them yet, but that's all right. And then that's it. Okay. The World Exhibition suddenly ends. Okay. Oh, Nicholas. Oh, okay. Everyone wants a colonial empire, huh? It's not a bad idea. Those are pretty cool to have, but still. Go here. If we can do that before they get over there, that'd be great, but we'll see what happens. Come on, dang it. Arrgh, you can't get over there. Alright. There you go. Not bad. Alright, so with that in mind, we're still learning quite a bit. Goals go right there, there. Cut down on the uh, amount of enemies we do have, so. Uh, there's a lot of ships still being made. Oh, big old thick battleships. We like them thick. Ordo, li ordo liberalism. <clears throat> As to uh, militia anarchy must end. The responsibility of previous governments in Germany really had no limits, and the anarchy that seizes the streets is proof of that. Extensive action by various types of internal security services, and the armies needed to restore the appearance of normality on the streets for a while so that we could actually carry out that reform. New Empire of Russia. Okay, cool. Tsar Ion Constant Konstantinovich. Cool. Constitution of the Balkan Federation. Never liked the previous name, anyways. Kingdom of Yugoslavia. Pretty looking, pretty thick. Navy took power in Japan. What else is new here? Nice, nice, nice. If you actually go there, that'd be great. And then do that, and then do like that or something. Help them out. I took all these two divisions, or how many there are, so. Deutsche Mark. Um, as an American. Uh, oh, Thomas Edison. We gotta go that way. But, dissolution of the paramilitary groups. If you want to hear about that, please go ahead. The universal right of bare arms. Although militia anarchy would undoubtedly have a negative impact on the pages of German history, even in the darkest period where there have been numerous cases that allowed us to believe that disarming the Germans may not be necessarily the right choice. Nice. Get back in there, you bunch of ding dongs. <clears throat> and there you go. Exactly what we want to see, as long as that division does not falter, fail. Good, good, good. We need allies in this world. Nice. Still 31, though, so we might as well keep going this way, I guess. 
We're gonna have a really good navy by the time uh, <laughs> war breaks out. Hopefully. Nice. Good. Look at that. Oh, so good. Good job, guys. We're helping win the war here in Spain as much as possible. Let's go to Toledo. Never been. Probably never will go. But we'll see what happens. I have a cup of coffee to keep us nice and warm, though. So the Zentrum's party has been doing well. As long as we have the monarchy still. Uh-oh. That's not good. Wait, we can't do that one? Oh, okay. So we gotta do this one first. No, no, no. We're not gonna go the easy way. We have to have the right to bear arms. We have to. Zeit für eine neue Verfassung. New governments in Germany must be given an appropriate legal basis if any reforms or changes are to be are to prove sufficiently durable. Remove the new order, new cause, a new chance, a new constitution. Ooh, we lose a lot of political power in war sport. Oh, God, no, no. New order, huh? What is that? Oh, God, oh. Yeah, let's get rid of that crap. Even though we still lose 0.25 political power every single day, but whatever. Whatever. Oh, we're not doing so well. Oh, we have no fuel. No, 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 no dip. Um, USA. Where's all our fuel going? Army, air. Oh, the air. Are you still training? Oh my gosh. Guys, stop it. Stop it. That should be it, right? There you go. British Honduras Hurricane, no one cares right now, except for those in Honduras. And even then, I don't, don't know if they really care either. Vascovitz, huh? Keep on moving around, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now you should be winning the air war here. Yeah, it should be definitely mixed, but it's not bad. Strong alliance. Oh, okay. Cool. You know what? Screw one of these extra fighters because we don't have enough planes yet, which we do need to make more planes. Thank you for playing. Because we need to bolster the numbers up here, too. Yes. You must have right to bear arms. Ordnung muss sein. Now that we have appropriate legal basis have been introduced, all people who have caused chaos on the streets can be permanently removed from them. It's high time for the order to triumph again. Get rid of this militia crap. So we get 25% more political power, which would be super nice for us to get. Now we have green air. How appropriate. Break over that river if you can. As we're getting attacked by Italians and the British. Frankenstein premieres. Interesting. Still 32 though, everybody. 31, I mean. 31, 31. Feels weird playing 31. Yes, we broke through. Exactly what we wanted. We're going to attack here next. And go in. They'll be fine. As an American, that feels so good. Gute Kerl mit einer Waffe. Oh, what is it? Oh my, oh my gosh. Die Gedanken sind frei. Federal state of princes and kings. I like that a lot. Absolute equality before uh, all of all before the law. Sharp reduction in taxes. Uh, let's do this one. Private enterprises are the foundation of our economy. As part of the new economic system, German entrepreneurs should be significantly free of German authorities' decisions by providing them with much greater autonomy, thanks to which it will be possible to revive the economy, which, thanks to its diversity, will not fall victim to its, the crisis again. Until next time, my friends. Until next time. Actually, you are a liberal, which is fine. I just win with Zentrums. Nice. Beautiful. So what we're going to do is I'm, I'm going to continue pushing further and further west. So we got just boom, these two, and we'll be good. So go there. And if you guys are there. I think you too. This is a weird division. Oh, also, like our infantry divisions are very weird. I... I don't know if this game or this mod like has done anything with the combo width, but they're 26. Is 30 combo width the ideal? I think it's still 40, right? Or 20 or 40, or 10 even. I think that's the ideal, right? So I could be wrong, but still. They actually doing quite well. I like it. This guy's learning a lot. An organizer, he's almost an infantry leader, cavalry leader. It's good stuff, man. And we'll, we'll, we went with Monstein too, so can't go wrong with Monstein. And now you've been cut off. Just as God intended. Of course, it's no bad yours, but still. Ordnung must sign. <clears throat> a sharp reduction in taxes. If we want to really make it easier for entrepreneurs to start again on the free market, we must carry out a drastic reduction in taxes and cut state expenses. And this way, without much issuing even a single brand, we will help them significantly. There goes all that political power we had formed and gotten. Oh, you can only go to 16. Why can't you only go to 16, too? Is it because of you? Mm, no. 
I don't know. It's very weird. Artillery. Division speed. Defense, defense, defense. Yeah, I don't know. Very odd. Monkleist. Meticulous. There you go. Oh, well, there are the big games. Very good. At Lake Placid in the US. Yay! Go ahead, just go on in you know, all these guys. Just destroy them all. Pretty much. Yay! Happy 1932, my friends. It eventually became 1932. Actually, we can do a lot of stuff, too, which we should probably do as well. Um, get some other research speed. Get some more radar. A radio, I should really say. Who are over the river, but whatever. They're going to die anyways. Even the British divisions, and the Spanish divisions, and of course the Italian divisions. The process of liberalization. 33, where's 32? 32? 32 stuff. Uh, maintenance companies would be nice. All recent economic reforms aimed at creating a law favorable to entrepreneurs seem to bring the intended effects, but what does the street say about it? Oh, crap. We're at 95% stability, right? Hey, we got 3% stability. Hey, not bad, not bad. I like it. I like it a lot. Madrid is so normal to get. Um, I don't want to fight in the mountains. Maybe it's, it's still... Yeah, I'm gonna fight. let's stay over here. Let's stay over here. Infantry, honestly, 5% more infantry attack is okay. I'd rather get this entrenchment so we get more bonuses to everybody. I think it's better that way. Auto liberalism will save us. Laza fair. What are we on right now? We're on interventionism. Uh, this, is, this is different than normal. We lose 5% consumer goods. Lose cap and oh, get more, get more cap and growth, and we lose construction speed going to Laza fair. I don't know if I like that. We do get some better political power though. Construction speed goes down, by, goes down by 25%. Free market policy versus the 1931 crisis. Are the, are the sausages already rolling? Move economic renewal process. Economic renewal, huh? Um, well, it's better than what we have right now, so. The reform process seems to be coming to an end, and the positive effects of our decisions are already visible. I yeah, guess a positive amount of political power is pretty nice. Try that. Brave New World. Unbelievable. Oh, you guys go there. I don't know what you're doing that for. And boom, we got him. And boom, we got him. Tighten it up just a wee bit, baby. Because we like it tight. And there you go. There you go. It's only a single, singular division, but uh, 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 die off soon enough. That's point. I might just be just tempted to just do that. Go there. There you go. Congrats. Win. Don't die. I think you know, this, this part of Spain is not doing so well. Shop production and taxes. A business at a time. Our economic system is aimed at supporting the development of private enterprises. Let's see what recent economic reports say about it. <clears throat> Let the invisible hand of the free market decide. Oh god, there's 70 chances here. We could get... Oh my goodness. Wow. So right now we have how many civvies? 44 civvies. 10% chance to lose political power. 25% chance that nothing will happen. And 25% chance we'll get some political power. So I think we just didn't get anything. Maybe. Uh, he's wounded, but he's, he's going crazy right now. So let, he's in his element. Let's just let him do his, do his stuff. Level 8 attack. And now he's an infantry leader too. Cavalry, combined arms. I want him to become a panzer leader, honestly. But that's going to take a lot longer. He has no experience with that. 5% defense is okay. It's only 5%. Anti terrorist conspirators, is this really necessary? We'll see what happens. Oh, the Americans are here too, it looks like. Beautiful. Keep bombing the crap out of them. I don't know where to send this other army, so I just send them over here, so. Bombok. Now you can have Bombok. I guess we'll do the Federal State of Princes and Kings. The German Reich was always founded not only by defeating the French Empire in the war, but also agreeing to unite various rulers of Germany from various rulers. If we want to ensure the stability of the empire, we must ensure that most of them are on our side. Yeah, it's probably a smart idea to do that. Uh, the tanks just roll on in. Are the sausages already rolling? Tarzan, the eight-man premieres. Nice. Interesting. Increasing the power of the local self-governments and improving the te uh, tender law should really bring measurable benefits to our road condition. And how is it really? Who will build the roads? So... 
I don't know, man. Wettenberg? They're what? Oh my goodness, eight. This is different than normal. Uh, Eupen, my lady. So that's at eight. The Rhineland's at eight. Eupen is six. Niederschlesen. Six. So six. Eight. Oh, so Eupen got it. You know what I love? I do like about this mod a lot is that it, it's different. It sh looks different. It's pretty much still exactly the same, but the aesthetics are different, and it's really going for a different type of look, which I love, 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 love. And, it, and it's clean. It makes sense. You know, keep it simple. It's awesome. I like it. Some mods try to get too wacky, too weird with stuff, and I'm just like, it's just this just doesn't fit. But for this mod, what I'm seeing, I'm liking a lot. I'm liking a whole lot. So you'll probably see this a lot. This mod on this channel quite a bit for a while just because I am very interested in seeing what this mod has in store for, you know, everybody. Uh, let's see, 32. Uh, we do have some carrier plans. Might as well do that. After that one, return of the Papal, Papal States. Whoa! Yeah, just kind of hang out for now. Let them just kind of run into us. Level 8 attack is so good. Let's just go in now. There you go. Have fun. See you later. Have fun. After that one, um... The Gedankensenfrei. A spe freedom of speech should be the pillar of New Germany. It is so obvious that there is no point to explaining it further. Wow. Followed up with absolute equality of all before the law. Germany must be sure that no one in the country can escape the hand of justice. Only then we will be able to achieve the public support we need. Process of liberalization. Um, our economic, our recent economic reforms aimed at creating a law favorable to entrepreneurs seems to bring the intended effects, but what does the suite say about it? I don't know, but we didn't lose any stability, so I'm okay with that. Uh, how are we doing on uh, uh, this stuff? So we're out of guns, which we're doing better on. We're out of artillery, which we're doing better on. We need some anti-air, maybe. That'd be kind of nice. That's motorized. Um, get some anti-air. Why not? It doesn't help us out that much, but it, it'll be nice. Alright, so you need to be a little bit more concentrated here. And I want you to really concentrate yourself here. Nice. Good, 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 good. I'll go in. Nice. We could end the war a little quicker and just go straight to Navarro, but we'll go there. Business at a time. Our economic system is aimed at supporting the development of private enterprises. Now let's see what economic reports have to say about it. Minus 371. Um, we didn't lose any, we get any political power, so that's not bad, but still. Oh, and they died. Okay. And the Chancellor rules the Kaiser applauds happily. The reform process in Germany seems to be coming to an end, and the closer it seems to be, the clearer it becomes that in the new Germany, the Kaiser will no longer have such strong authority as before. To get more political power, with stability, and more support. Oh, sign us up. Sign us up, my friends. Sign us up. And I love, I, I enjoyed that war. I enjoyed that war. It was kind of nice. Usually people don't want to say they enjoy war, but heck, on this channel, if you don't enjoy war, you're on the wrong channel. <sighs> Just saying. Um, 33. Uh, probably get some maintenance companies. That'd probably be pretty good. Oh, we're back. Good, good job, boys. Good job. Boys and girls. Whoever, whoever showed up over there. Good job. Uh, ship stuff. Ooh, 32. Yes. Yes. I would like to get that. Oh, we'll get some. You know what? Screw it. We're going to go with that. Super heavy. I like them heavy. Brazilians and tripartite. Uh. What's the world order look like? Oh. Oh, that's not. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, wow. This is not looking good for us. We fight the French, Austrians, and the Italians at the same time. And the Brazilians, which I'm not too concerned about. Oh, look. China's in League of Nations, huh? So. Oh, look at this. That's a nice thing you had there. You have one heck of a mustache, Adolf. That looks pretty cool, honestly. You have the Kaiser Willem stash on you, huh? Miracle on the Rhine. But let's do this first. All right, let's see. We got that one done, that one done, that one done. Not bad, not bad. <clears throat> N32, that's all ahead of time. Let's just do something like that. Basic uniforms. Yeah, they need clothes. Miracle on the Rhine. The long process of Adenauer reforms in Germany is over, and the effects of his government are being monitored. Many people seem quite optimistic. Yay, Miracle on the Rhine. Oh, consumer goods goes down by 20%. Ooh, free market, funding research complexes. Lead us in an invisible hand of the free market. Who will build the roads? Not me. So, support for Republican Spain. We get more data to the political power, army XP, and stuff like that. So, what happens when they win? 
Umberto the Second, an ambitious autocrat, and Philippe Petain. Oh, now is a no. Unreal. Anti-Germanic moods in pop. So everyone hates us. I mean, that's kind of to be expected. Not gonna lie, but whatever. Greeks in but Okay. Um, oh, so now we can do stuff here. At the end of the Casalicia Marines' excess of funding. The Velen Second's dream, but says, even if Crass or not, we can have Casalicia Marine. Ooh. Mm, super heavy battleships. Ooh. I'll get a research bonus for it. Oh, I should have researched okay, that earlier. The good old naval doctrine. Where it's increased Vata Front defenses. U boats are the future of war, which is not bad. You get more daily naval XP, which I do like. Time for a new naval doctrine. All right. Expand naval dockyards, need to train new officers and stuff like that. Uh, the dream of dominance in the seas. You know what? We'll probably even go, even across will not weaken our marines. Yeah, this is nice and all, but you get more manpower and all, but I don't care. But what else can we do down here? Anything else yet? Because we can't go down here. Miracle on the Rhine. Oh, we need to wait to do Miracle on the Rhine. The purge comes to an end. Oh, and Russia? Ah. Of course they'd be doing purges down there. Back to Veltpolitik. Process of liberalization, nice. We didn't lose anything that time, that's good. Uh, we probably want to do this one, honestly. Because we get more political power, return of Velt Politiki. Master impact goes down. Master puppet decisions. We got obligatory army service. We get recruitable population, 7.5%. We lose the consumer goods and more, it gets more worse, but we lose training time. Oh, that's not bad. There are no poor people in Germany. Of course not. Developing Wunderwaffe, I like that. It hurts their consumer goods, though. Back to Velt Politik. The crisis spirit has weakened our position in the world, but now we are back in glory, ready to make Germany the greatest and most powerful empire in history. Yay! Maintenance. Uh, we already recon coming along. Um, honestly, I kind of don't mind going ahead of time and going get Panzer threes. Eh, get some better artillery, maybe. Yeah, let's start doing that so we can make them a little bit faster. Inner world carriers are fine. Yeah, it's fine. New president of France. All right. I hope we all have enough divisions to defend against some of our enemies here. We need way more support equipment, so... Uh, good and bad. Uh, recently, the world seems to be seeing a growing demand for weapons and other raw materials conducted, related to conducting military operations. I wonder how our domestic producers will react to this. A free market for the free people. Cool. Uh, expansionism, which is nice. Equal among equals. And then we have volunteer. 5% is not bad. Free market. laissez fair, which is okay. We still have you. We are still Zentrum's Patai. Uh, anything over here? It's not bad. Encryption is not bad. That's very good for combat. Um, crap. Not bad either. It is only 32. Honestly, it'd probably be a smart idea to go crap right now. <sighs> Herman Müller. Liebneck. Oh, that's not bad. Going to a party's conservatism. I don't know. It's not bad to get either. But we already have max out civilian war sports. So who's over here then? Do these guys change at all? Um, well, since we are Zentrums, and it's basically conservatives, right? So, intellectual, eh, not really worth it. Conservatives, of the peace. I don't know about that one, maybe. Oh, this guy's not bad. Yeah. Erhard. Ludwig Erhard. He sounds a little familiar. Are you in a Strangeheim campaign? It's not bad. We can wait, though. And then liberalism, eh, seems okay. Doesn't seem great to get right now. Industrial company as well. Infrastructure. <sighs> speed. I mean, this is, actually that's not bad. Refinery construction speed, fuel gain. We're definitely gonna need that. We're absolutely gonna need that. But encryption and decryption is not bad. Research speed is not bad. Uh, we're gonna need to build ourselves up, but fuel gain per oil. We have stuff to train anyways. It's probably best to do this right now. Naval stuff since we're here anyways. Uh, find a book. Oh my goodness, there's so much here. There's so much here. Uh, weapon manufacturers. Less reliability, I don't, I don't like that. That's not bad. Soft attack. Breakthrough. Gibraltar, that's fine. Mm, tanks. Mechanized, motorized, artillery. We're going to go with the best tanks possible. Light tanks are not bad. Medium tanks. I do want to get to medium tanks though. Ooh. Yeah, let's do this stuff first. Deck size, I like big decks, and I cannot lie. I like battleships more heavy and light attack. Carrier, uh, armor's not bad, but 10% of 5 armor is like 0.5, so it's not really worth it. You get more armor and battleships, which is not bad, but 
I want our ships to just attack and be crazy. So I like big boys. So this one is a good for deck size. Twenty percent is not bad. That's what you really want for carriers. So as far as I know, I could be completely wrong, but still. And uh, agility is what you want for fighters. So Mr. Schmitz. And uh, anything else here? Oh, encourage militarism. Oh, we can still change our guys here. Well, I don't know. Maybe we'll wait for that one. Another research slots. Ooh, how many civvies do we have? Forty-six. Ooh, we, we might be able to save our political power up for that then. My apologies for taking so long with this though. Um, who's over here? We told you. Oh, plus point. Oh, more encryption. That's not bad. Von Braun. Yeah, I want to go with this guy. More encryption. Research speed. Might as well. Canaris. Good. Um, some Olympic Games. Not bad. Keep training if you can. If you can duplicate you guys, that'd be great. But we don't have any more millies just yet. You guys are looking A-OK. -okay. August Picard is a new altitude record. Very nice. Go and keep training because you need it definitely. Business at a time. Our economic system is aimed at supporting the development of private enterprises. Let's see what recent economic reports say about it. I don't know. We'll see. Search for new allies? Might as well. Oh, man. Many nations in the world admire us and want to join our cause. We should let them know that we're ready to accept them as our allies. The power of the Reich's backed. Ooh, Special Forces gets more acclimatization stuff. Economic cooperation would be quite good as well. Scientific exchange of Reich's backed members. And now we get 1.59 every single day. The German eagle raises its head again. When the panic hit the world in 1931, Germany was one of the earliest and most severely hit countries in the world, with anarchism and paramilitary militants raging in the streets, the crash of the German stock market, unemployment reaching new heights never seen before. It seemed gloomy as it was for the rest of the world, but to the surprise of observers, the reforms undertaken by the German government proved the right choice, and now Germany is re-emerging on the world stage, proving that the Kaiser and his empire remain strong, ready to pursue their ambitions. The Kaiserreich stands strong, my friends. All right, everyone, so right now we're doing re-signing contracts with industrial magnates. Oh, I love it. Now that the situation in Germany seems to be stable again, and the authorities seem to have all the necessary support, it's high time to resign arms contracts with their domestic producers and start a new era of arms for the German army, in which we will remove this national spirit, the army in the sp uh, spotlight, which is not going to be great, but not bad. Because right now we are still building up some millies. Actually, we're doing some millies and then build up some more civvies, but still. <clears throat> Norway cannot remain natural or neutral forever. Norway's neutrality is quite problematic for us. Maybe it's possible to sway the Norwegians to abandon it in favor of an alliance with us? Germany would like to be our friend. The Netherlands has been alone on the international stage for long enough. They will feel safer with us on their side. The Romanians, like us, hate Austrians. It must be used. Venezuela has a history of hostile relations with Great Britain, which ended in a hostile manner for them as a result of their lack of international support. The possibility of obtaining such certainty will seem tempting to them. Argentina is our friend in this corrupt world, sealing a relationship by signing an alliance with them is a must. Peru has already used our military advisors many times, and maybe they will be willing to establish permanent re positive relations with us. Meaning the two causes, the Chinese emperor is great and powerful, and the emperor is a man of honor in Germany. Establishing an alliance will undoubtedly strengthen our countries. Well, we'll see what happens. Our recruitment campaign is okay. We can buy some equipment, which is not bad. I don't mind buying, maybe buying more tanks. Yo, we can buy some support equipment. Let's at least do that one. Can we get some support equipment? Um, yeah, let's do that. Why not? Because currently we get 1.64 political power every single day, so that's not bad. Um, we get also a national visit. Um, we lose political power, but we do lower their people's, people's republic. That sounds very communist to me. Socialist. Ooh, that's not good. Can we actually get, kill you guys off? Let's see. So in Morocco, German... Oh, German Africa. Oh, wait. German Africa is not actually under us. Oh, von Vato Do you have any focus tree? Oh, they kind of do, maybe? Maybe not. They have officer school? Maybe not. A standing army? Oh, maybe they do. Yeah. Great economic divide. Yeah? Maybe. Well, keys? Economic interventionism? Hayek? Free market policy? Political storm? Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Okay, interesting. Interesting. A lot of manpower. No fa- Oh, no factories. Holy crap. <clears throat> um, other than that, equipment manufacturers. I do want to use a lot of mediums, so... You know, light tanks are always usually good to get, good to get two. Um, heart attack, defense. Look at more defense. Screw it. Ace in the hole. Romania seems to be very eager for war, and we can only congratulate them on their enthusiasm. Romania joined the Einar. Einar's Pact? No. Wrong, wrong mod. Uh, Ro Reich's Pact. Yes. Reich's Pact. <clears throat> Today, more interesting news comes from Germany, where, as a result of so successful diplomatic efforts, they managed to announce expansion of the Reich's Pact with a new member, the Romanians. This interesting event will mean another reshuffle in the international geopolitical ring, as the zone of control of Germany and its allies is going to include one of the largest European oil fields and also give them access to the Black Sea. Yay. 
and friend Norway's no friend of peace. The Norwegian's refusal seems to be evident of their hostile plans for us. We need to get carefully about our next step, our best friend in the Americas, Argentina being our allies in the natural state of things. Yay. And a pleasant surprise, Peru's not interested in an alliance with Germany. This is news without much weight because the country does not have one. Venezuela is our friend. Yay. Friends in Benelux. The Netherlands bowed under the weight of our compl compliments and are now sitting on our side. Yay. At least we got some allies. Especially with the Reichspact. That's uh, that's really bad for them, but whatever. Um, cool. We got Argentina, which is pretty nice. I wish we got America with us too, but whatever. We need more fighters. Triumph of Spanish liberalism. Perhaps it had to be done. So can we get you guys in with us as well? Please let us come into our alliance. Please. Fun Thor's minds and more. Happy 32, everybody. Nice. Let's get all that stuff. Get it all done. Encourage militarism. Get some civilian fundings. Government lobby. War propaganda. Improve working conditions. Let's do war bonds. Um, new wonders of medicine. You know what? Let's do this once. I know Luxembourg's not really worth it, but whatever. <clears throat> we like it hard. What else do we have here? Process of liberalization. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Keep training. Because God knows we're going to need to keep training. Nice. After that one, um, let's do this one. Uh, actually, we already have enough already, consumer goods, but a scientific exchange of Reichsback members. The scientific cooperation of the Reichsback members seems to be quite a logical step forward in maximizing the benefits of this multinational alliance. Uh, mar joint march towards a better future. Better nuclear ro rockets, armor, research speed, and consumer goods factors goes up a little bit more. More research speed. Eh, we can actually afford that. That's fine with us. Some people will not be able to afford that, but that's okay. We're not them. We've got plenty of trucks, too. Roosevelt takes a landslide victory. Oh, new Democratic president. Let the invisible hand lead to us. Oh, good. So 35 political power. Didn't get political power. That's fine. You guys are fine. Uh, maybe you guys... Legionnaires? What is Legionnaires? Is that for, like, Roman stuff? Or... Huh. That's kind of cool. Daily circuit in Caribbean history. Oh, boy. Uh, since we're here, I'm going to make these guys 40 come with... I don't know if that's the right thing to do. Maybe it's not... But that's what I usually do, and I could be very wrong about doing it like this, but... We could get some bot... 40 combo with bicycle divisions sound amazing, I'll be honest. Oh, no fuel, huh? Bro, that sucks. Oh. You know, it's not good when America can't give you fuel. Wow, we need to trade for stuff like crazy. Holy crap. Um, Romania. Okay, never mind Romania. Uh, Canada, Russian Empire, Mexico... Do that. German Asia, of course. Uh, you guys, German Asia, of course. German Asia, which we need to take a look at real quick. And you guys as well. Oh, we love German Asia. What does German Asia look like? Oh, down here. Oh, von Müller. German Admiral at the edge of Asia. Oh, very cool. Uh, military cooperation, get more daily army air and able XP gain, that's not bad. By establishing a military cooperation program between the Reichspack members, it will become possible to have a much more universal training of the armed forces of its members, which will allow them to prepare for providing in various regions of the world. After that one, economic cooperation, yeah, why not? Germany is a nation full of talented entrepreneurs and outstanding inventors, whose experience can be passed on to willing members of the Reichspack to create an international economic community. Very cool. Business, yes. And we're over here... Um, recovery rate, research speed, and eh, I get the research speed guy, why not? 32 still, so we're basically all done with this stuff, which is nice. Basic engines, it's almost 33. At 33, you might as well just go with this one then. Basic armor, you might as well just go with construction speed. That's fine, whatever. <clears throat> oh, our minister humiliates us. We threw this earlier, but whatever. It is what it is. I'll get another conservative member soon. After this one, I will like to do something else. Ooh. Mainstay of professionals, and we lose some, some consumer goods, but still. Uh, doctrine speed. I do want to come over here, though, because we need to really start working on some of the stuff here. So look at all this. Silesia and Rhineland are our production base. Awakening of armaments factories. If we do not want to lag behind our rivals, we must firmly strengthen our current production for military purposes. And Silesia and Rhineland are our protection, production bases. The large districts in the west and east of Germany <clears throat> must be properly expanded and fortified if they are to provide much needed supplies to our army in the event of war. The mummy. Oh. Are the sausages already rolling? Authorize, yes please. Who will build the roads? Not me. Someone will. Oh, I'll make sure we get way, way, way more millies. We need way more millies right now. Um, 
Okay, go two at a time for now. And I'll keep working on some, some refineries because we will definitely need some more fuel. And a lot more planes. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're whole epistemological problems of economics. Cool. Um, 36, 36, that's fine. Because we have carrier fighters and carrier naval bombers being made. Fine with us. Totally great, 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 great. Research speed, four days left. Basic cam vehicle camouflage is fine. Let's go ahead and grab probably some better fuel refining. Just go and get that one done because it's going to take a while anyways. There we go. Thank you very much. The whole world knows German engineers. Um, we lose some of that stuff. The key na nature of resources from the colonies. For the development of plans of construction, yes, please. Our armed forces need modern armored vehicles capable of breaking enemy lines of defense and act as a rear at the rear of the, of the enemy in the form of raids, or can be used as a support for infantry units on the field of battle. Special funds should be invested to create adequate research facilities. Light tanks will give us an advantage. It's not bad, but still. There's a lot of research here, which I, which I like. I don't give me I like it a lot. 33. I'll get some better tanks. Medium tanks are good to start working on right now. Um, anything else here? Not really too much. Oh my goodness, we need so many guns. We need to train, that's fine. Go and train, make ourselves at least somewhat usable here. Army of the Rising Sun, who says the East cannot be imperialist. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, let's get another research slot. After that one, Festung's Germania. Oh, look at that. Yes. Nice. Festung's Germania. Lose political power, get lose good super goods. Key points, Benelux region. Um, you can't trust the Austrians. Of course you cannot. It's not bad. Anti-air, heart attack, production cost goes way down. Hmm. I want to do this one. Reinforcing Luf Luftstreitskräfte. Oh, come on. Stop hurting us. Our aviation needs some recharging now that our internal problems have been largely resolved. Ecstasy. Oh. Those Don checks. Don all the checks. Don them, down them, down them, down them. We still get 1.69 political power every single day. We're still hosting a national visit, though, too. Uh, what is this here? Political power. Development aviation infrastructure. Wow. That sucks. Oh, good. New fighter designs. Ooh. San Riku earthquake. That sucks. Germany's finest. Falsham Jäger. Ooh, that's kind of cool. We actually get Falsham Jäger, which I think is actually a really good idea for mod developers. Just because, even though I don't always use it, some people do. So, and... At least for me, when because I don't ever use uh, Falsham Jäger... It might be good just to give us them, and then I, we actually might use it. I think that's a really smart idea, actually, but maybe that's just me. Probably that's just me, but whatever. Mm. Nice. Netherlands must be in our sphere of influence. All Scandinavia Navy must be in our sphere of influence. At times, and Belgian neutrality. But we can't do this one yet. Alright, well, whatever. We still need some time to build ourselves up. Production costs. Oh, that's not bad. We need self propelled guns for special tanks or tasks. That sounds Germania. Uh. The opponent won't even know where the front line is. They'll probably do that one next. Now that the crest has been successfully managed to a large extent, we can return to the reform of the army and complete it with the help of great military maneuvers, on which numerous new combat tactics will be tested and the conclusions drawn from them will become the basis of a new concept of war, which we will soon be able to use. Don't do that one. Are there any of Banooks? Banooks? Bano? Maybe Bano. Well, we have enough from that one. You guys are fine from German Asia. Yeah, yeah, you guys are looking good. Pioneers will pay the way. Our sausages are already rolling. Nice. Engineers. Uh, Panzerkabagen. And a bit of Manchuria. Whoa. Nice. So that's good to get. I don't mind getting some SP artillery. Because these guys have, yeah, not nearly enough. Mediums. We'll be using mediums for a while. <clears throat> Excuse me. But that won't be too bad. The end of the Kaiserlicia Marine's excessive funding? Nah, we gotta go with this one. Even a crisis will not weaken a Kaiserlicia Marine. <clears throat> the recent crisis has led to a rather interesting debate on whether we should maintain the current financing system of our fleet. The camp has on its side many respected admirals supporting the current idea of waging a war at sea. Which we're gonna need to anyways, right? We're gonna immediately do Houston Mount Everest flight expedition. Grilla. Um, we lose daily political power, which sucks. And consumer goods! Uh, seems okay. But you get some more stuff over here as well. And that is a national spirit. Building domination at sea. Do we remove that eventually? A dream of dominance in the seas. Hmm. I don't mind this one. But I... Oh, that's not bad. So we can produce battleships even faster than carriers. Yeah. Super heavy battleships are just the next step. If we want to defeat the overwhelming number of enemy ships, we need a serious firepower. Which only the heaviest of battleships can provide. Yay. So that's good. We got that one. 
Um, things up from 33. Nothing here, really. Do we ever get this one unlocked? Okay. Now it's re-unlocked. Okay, then. Um, armor. Anti-air. We can do some land doctrine. 32. Yeah, probably good to do some of that stuff right there as well. As we're going to go for another research slot. Oh, yes, please. And a single day. Ah, oh, beautiful. We have a little spot of fuel. Spot of fuel. Ah, oh, carrier, good. Train. Process liberalization, nice. So we don't lose anything there, which is awesome, 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 awesome. King Kong, I love monster movies. Ah. Oh. Yeah, Super Heavy Battleships are the way to go next, though. Very good. So, so when does the first war start? Because the Tripartite Act is, Pact is going to be really difficult to kill off. Uh, Poland, how are you doing? Nice. Now we're out of political power, but whatever. After this, I do want to do more stuff, maybe with, uh... Yeah, that's will be really good to do. That's really nice to do. Inclined armor belt schemes. 33, though. Gotta keep remembering that. Honestly, we got a lot of stuff done already here. Death charge throwers, maybe? And catapult planes? Might as well. Good old naval doctrines. Naval dockyards, yeah, expansion of maritime infrastructure. Let's do that one next, because we could we could really use those dockyards right now. If we do not want to create a ship gap between us and the enemy, we must enlarge our shipbuilding infrastructure. But then we also need to focus on other stuff, such as planes. We need a strong air force, right? Like, strong air force is what's going to keep us alive. Because as much as I love ships, but, you know, it is what it is. Get our throwers. All right, we got some stuff there, which is nice. I love the free market. Uh, let's go for that stuff for now. Super heavies are awesome. And Loch Ness Monster. Cool, 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 cool. And we do still need some army stuff, but... <sighs> Transport planes, Germany's fine, so will be really good. The Violeta de Luftacht. That's not bad. Racing down towards that one would not be bad. Aerial logistics and tactical bombs for better suppression. Uh, Germany's finest. Field troopers are newly formed infantry formation that can perform tasks much more effectively than other existing formations of our armed forces. Developing the concepts seems to be very reasonable. And the aerial logistics. Our paratroopers, after dropping into enemy lines uh, or territory, <clears throat> look at these two, uh, will suffer from a lack of supply nodes unless we provide them with supplies by air delivery. Japan and Great Britain. This is not going to be good for us then. Oh boy. Oh, nice. Good job, guys. Improved airplane catapults. Nice. Um, Sonar. That'd be good. Yeah. And Dark Gods. Very good. Oh, Super Heavy. Yeah, I'm going to start working on that stuff right now, baby. Alright. Fire control. Do we have any radar? We do not, which is. Pretty bad of us, but whatever. And super heavy. Let's go some more anti air. Because it's going to be just ungodly slow, anyways. Ah, we don't have enough second. God dang it. Well, well, I'll finish that one off screen. But let's read one more focus Germany's finest and air logistics, and they probably do dive bombers to help our ground troops. Dive bombers are a great solution when it comes to supporting your ground forces from the air. The better the designs are, the sooner we will win. And tactical bombers for better suppression. Tactical bombers, due to their universality, can be extremely useful to us on almost every battlefield. It is logical to invest in improving their designs, but if you enjoyed the first episode, please do leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow, as we will see what we can do as the leader of the Reich's Pact in the mod called Age of Imperialism. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great, 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 great rest of your day.